by the Montana Television Network. The 10 o'clock news continues on KBAX, Montana's news leader. After 17 years, a Billings veteran will get some information that will help him and others involved in biological weapons testing as part of Project Shipboard Hazard and Defense during the Vietnam War era. The bipartisan legislation was signed by the president on Tuesday. It passed with the help of Senator John Tester and Senator Jerry Morin of Kansas. KTVQ's David Jay talked with U.S. Navy veteran John Olson. President Trump signed a bill containing the Gary Deloney and John Olson Toxic Exposure Declassification Act, co-sponsored by Senator John Tester. It's uh, very satisfying. It's been a long haul. A long haul. John Olson started asking in the year 2000 for records that would help doctors treat him. He says his 35 to 40 diseases and ailments came after exposure to biological and chemical weapons on tugboats near Johnson Island, 1,000 miles southwest of Hawaii in 1965. I don't know for sure, because my medical records are locked up. Olson says he may have been exposed to 18 biological weapons and has received limited information. Well, the two on the data sheets are uh, serratia marcensis and tularemia, which is rabbit fever. After the tests, they used chemicals to clean up the biological weapons. Beta propylactone and formaldehyde. We were using it by the gallon. Anyway, when you clean something up so good that there's nothing left in there, no living item at all, that's the way we left it. While doctors can better help him if they know the weapons and chemicals, he understands why they had to keep the information classified. There's been a lot of military secrets that we wanted to keep, even those of us who were out there. The details, I don't know. I doubt if I ever will. I'd like to, but uh, it's not going to make or break me. In Billings, David J, MTN News. Former Congressman Denny Reberg was involved with trying to pass some bipartisan legislation as far back as 2004. John Olson says he expects that his co-pays will, re will be reimbursed soon. As for the records, he says it may take as long as six months. And every week, KPAX TV and Montana Rail Link bring you a special series of reports called Salute the Badge where we get to know our local law enforcement, law enforcement on a more personal lever, level. Make sure to join us on Saturday, December 23rd at 6 p.m. for our Salute the Badge special, where we highlight the heroes of law enforcement and see the many ways first responders contribute to our community. Coming up in Health Watch, over the last months, political figures and entertainment moguls have been accused of sexual misconduct. Well, now Hollywood is taking a stance with a new commission to fight sexual harassment within the industry. Stay tuned for this story.